All right, welcome back everybody to some more of that Iris and the Giant game. Uh, it's been a few days now on this end, so I don't remember what we were doing. And this room, I'm looking at it, it uh, it's kind of interesting. There's new stuff here, and it looks like a treasure room more than anything. This, this thing here is a, an old urn full of will, which I can take it if I get closer. So this is just healing. Meanwhile, over here, we have a an evil amphora, which will cause me to lose three stars if we break it. Which, I don't see how we cannot break it. And there's another one there, and I think one there. So that's kind of interesting. Losing three stars if we break them. Hmm. Look at all these axes. So I don't see, like I said, how we are not breaking them. Maybe if we break them with an attack, we don't lose the stars, question mark. So if I'm doing an axe attack, I don't want to hit the crystals. So let's pick those up. Oh, there's the stairs. Interesting. I mean, we definitely want to get to these crystals here. So let's uh, grab that. Gives us 10. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm getting a star as well behind it. So let's try it out. Oh, there's two more of them here that we can't avoid. I think we'll try the axe thing here. See if... So we are three stars, or we are only missing three stars in order to level up. So we should be, and we get one from killing him. So up to nine, down to eight. Okay, we did lose stars doing that. I'm not sure what else you can do with them then. Do it like this. Why am I using an axe for this? Because we have so many axes. Okay, sure. And get the cards, whips, and with 13 swords in the deck, 49 cards. It is important to draw swords often for us, so I will do it. And of course not take that M4 there. You can see on that ladder there, or whatever, the platforms that we are not that far away from the giant who apparently waits at the top. I think I caught a glimpse of it there, so that's interesting. What is this? A curious chest. I guess it's hiding something and it has armor on it. Very interesting. I think we cleave. Is it just me or is it extra loud today? I feel like it's extra loud. Let me turn down the sound here a bit. And I... Oh! Oh, okay. It was hiding something. This creature swallows my cards and turns them into demons. I must use its own powers against it. How do I use its own powers against it? I mean, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna... That is not what I expected would happen from that interaction. Maybe it would... Maybe I should have guessed. This creature swallows my card, so I try to hurt it with a whip. Or like pull it forward and then I would stab it with a dagger. But instead it just swallowed the whip and spit out this guy, a boar armed with a whip, who can steal my cards at a distance. How do I use its own powers against it? Uh, if I make it swallow an, a bomb and then destroy the bomb, the bomb would hurt it. If I, uh, if, if I could hit this bomb guy, I would probably be able to hurt it indirectly. Okay, I'm gonna... Uh, these guys are gonna steal cards. We're definitely gonna kill them and kill that guy in the front there. So, then what happens? He's, he spits out Amphoras now. Well, what happens if I skip the turn here? Oh, okay. He gives us me stuff, and this guy is a... 
demon wandering with some steel jaw traps in its pocket. But I don't think we can use that to hurt him. So we will kill it. And he spit out, you know, resources for us. Wonder if the fire can hurt him? And then his own powers against him would be something like stealing cards, maybe? But I'm gonna grab the fire and see if that can hurt him. Oh, that would hurt it. Then. So let me pick up these crystals, then do the... We can't do the fire right now. Oh, oh, this is good. If we kill this thing, it'll blow up and hurt him, I think. So if I just punch it... Yes. Oh. Should not have done that. Well, maybe it's fine. Let's try the fire. Now he swallows that right up. But that gave us another way of hurting him. Indeed. Okay, he just keeps going. Uh, but same, same result here. This bomb will blow up, killing these two, and then they will clear behind them. Uh, and we're not being hurt up here. He spit out a chest too. So I feel like the more we could keep the, keep the fight going against him, he's going to spit out stuff for me, like crystals and cards. And that's kind of cool. But I will probably just go for the kill. Oh, we would hurt the chest if we do this. Oh. So grab the chest first. Getting more fire. And maybe a shield at this point. So we have a shield for the end game. Because we will have one in hand there. Alright. Then the bomb guy. That did not make those guys blow up and hurt behind them. Interesting. Okay. Maximum will points increased by 10. Chest. The trick is not really necessary when we have 64 cards. A nerve on each four two demons will be tougher. No, let's grab the, the will. Since I ended up losing so much will earlier in the game, this would be a good way to just uh, realign it a bit. Now him... Oh, oh, so here. Now we can hurt the boss by punching this guy. Yes, good stuff. Got these steel traps being thrown out everywhere. That's super annoying. I wonder if... Uh, now, the last time I used the fire thing, it didn't really work because I, he was in the front line. If I'm hitting here, maybe, as an area attack, I'm wondering if he's going to swallow the card. Well, we could also just start by killing this one. Now, let's do the fire. Now, he's going to eat that. Okay. And spit out more, more fire demons, which is good. Oh my, oh my, okay. Not what we needed here. But more crystals and I will use a an axe here. And it didn't hurt him, unfortunately. So this gives me another turn. Do we do anything with it? Hmm. That cannot hurt him. And if I cleave, he's just going to eat the axe and spit out a baby minotaur. Huh. Rough turn here. This guy spits out more steel jaw traps, which is also super annoying. Man. Tough fight. But we're almost through him. We just need to get one more thing to hurt him, and then he will go down. Dagger, these are the only two daggers in the entire deck. I could skip the turn. Let's see what he spits out. Oh, a bomb. Good, that's the end of it then. Yeah, let's use a dagger on that. Good. Oh, and that's spawned the trap or the stairs beneath him. Interesting. Let's get the thing. Um. 
when I use my whip, I steal a card. This ability does not work on enemies of the first row. When I get a golden hourglass bonus turn, I steal one card, which appears directly in my hand, or I can play all arrows. Hmm. Maybe the whip is fine. No. Let's get the golden hourglass upgrade. Alright, do we grab the one star here, even though it's going to ticket the trap? I'm wondering, do we need to do anything here? I can blow up these guys. That's going to give us a lot of stars for very a very small cost. He's going to jump forward and attack. I think it's time to leave. All right. Pandora's box. I am in the wolf's mall. And like Arian, I follow the string. The torrent of tears leading to the source of it all. Interesting. All right. We are uncovering more of the story. Anyone here with armor? No, so nothing to use the tornado for currently. Uh, the the crystals would heal us, and that's nice. I'm not sure if we have a strategy for the early turns here. I think we just use a sword on you and call it a turn. Yeah, we can tank most of that, and, uh, hmm. Why did I do that? Good question. Meow. Oh, and that was the healing the sword, so, hmm. This must be, oh, it's not the last axe by any means. Okay, then let's use the axe here. And we steal a card. We get a steel card, I guess. So if we steal from this guy with the scythe instead of the thing here, then what do we get? Do we get another steel card or something else? Oh, we get a scythe. Shith, scythe. Who cares? What does it do? Attack all opponents in the first row and steal one from each of them. Oh, nice. Okay. We got four cats, two skellies. We could kill some of the skellies first and then hope that more cats appear. I only have the dagger to do it, so I would rather not. Um, what happens if I just use this one? Yeah, okay. Then I will draw a card. An axe. Okay. So I could do that instead of the thunder. I don't see any cats appearing up here. What is this? This Cyclops seems to be sleeping, but if he comes closer, he'll wake up and his gaze will paralyze me for two turns. Oh, okay. But if he comes closer, I could also just target him. That seems silly. When we kill him, we get to, we get a steel card. That's nice. I want to try to steal from that Cyclops, I think. I don't see any cats appearing here, so I'm just going to use the lightning now. It's as good a time as ever. Another one coming in. Block attacks and reflect them. Attackers are attacked. Thieves are stolen from. We get an extra turn for killing the skeleton here.
Oh, but I didn't think that through, did I? Huh. And what do you do? The four demons around this bat are untouchable. It also lets my enemies attack twice. And this guy didn't do anything because they both paralyzed me at the same time. Or maybe it did and that's why this guy shot so many times. But I feel like that was because of him. And uh, they don't seem to be attacking. So that's kind of nice. But let's try to steal from one of them just to see what we get. Uh, what do we do about the Batman here? I don't, I don't want to get him moving forward until we have a way of dealing with him. So let's go here. This was a what? Okay, he did a thing. I was wrong. What was this? Petrify a foe and I can play again. Very cool. I. We have a will that will be used soon. This is going to be tricky. I don't have a way of dealing with the bat. It's simple. We kill the bat. But we can't. It's not that problematic currently, but if this guy gets in the front row and reduces my maximum will twice per round, same with this guy, this guy with steel cards, uh, then we have issues and then we might want to grab this chest, but I don't want him to be in the front row or him for that matter. So, hmm. We've got the mirror, which might petrify the Cyclops. I don't think it's mirror time. Chest will not cost a turn, and then we can hit you after. I needed a different card here, like a, an arrow or a whip. A whip would have been great. So this is unfortunate. Axe would be fine. A fatal blow to any opponent. I do wonder if the, the dagger can hit through the bat's protection. That would be interesting. I think we go axe and dagger to test that theory. And then now we cleave with the axe. Oh no, we can we can steal from this thief by using the shield. Let's see what that does to the Cyclops then. Am I going to die if this fails? Because then I need to use a will, but I, or confidence, but I don't think so. We will use the shield. And he petrified himself indeed. He attacked again. So then I gained two shifts from him, I think. Yes, cool. He's petrified. A petrified demon. It can break with a mere kick. Oh, even better. Um, But I don't want to do that right now because that would get him into the first row and we can't cleave him. I do feel like I need to cleave to get rid of both of these at the same time. And then that will bring people to the front. A stealer and a maximum will reducer. The four demons around this bat are untouchable. And this dagger will de deal a fatal blow to any opponent. I am not sure which to trust. We will try it. It worked. And then we kill him. I know we're taking some hits, but we gotta get rid of this guy. <laughs> Yikes! Stop! Man, why did they do it twice? Okay, that's nasty. I'm surprised that the dagger thing worked, but 
I'll take it. When I play a comfort gun card, it turns into a flame and I can play this turn. Monsters who survive my axes are stunned for two turns or the whip upgrade again. I'll take the confidence and then we can add more confidence to the deck without... Oh, oh we can say we can add confidence to the deck with confidence. <laughs> uh, we got a Cyclops coming in with a Sorrow Demon next to it. I don't think it's avoidable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fun. Okay. If I do this, we're good. Oh, there's a thing here. And a memory. So people are saying you don't want to talk anymore. You're just seeking attention, but nobody cares about you. Well, thank you for that, bitch. Okay, we get rid of the sorrow and heal. Hit the rock. Um, oh, we do the other shield. Damn. Okay, and we're through. Yes. Another little puzzle scenario. All right. You have taken the path of the mind. A special challenge awaits you. You have to defeat all of the demons with a series of predefined cards. Indeed. Find out how to defeat all the demons with only the cards you have in hand. Be careful. One hit and you lose. Sure. We got a thunder, a whip, an arrow, and a steel. So we can steal from one of them. Interesting. We can get a sword or an axe or a whip. This seems nice. Hmm. You want to think ahead. I can hit these, then he will be pulled to the front. Then I can kill him with the steel, getting a sword. Then we, then he will be t at the front. Oh, he res resurrects defeated skeletons. Oh, hold on. <laughs> uh, so we pull him to the front with the whip, and then thunder. Thunder the uh, minotaurs. No, I think we have to thunder the skeleton, so then we could just... Oh, we can also just attack him with an arrow when he's in the front line. And I think I, I need the, the steel for the axe. Okay, I think I see the correct sequence. So, like, this? Shoot him? Lightning? Oh, he's going to move an attack next turn, and then I'm dead. Interesting. So, we lost. Because I can get a sword to kill him, but now... He moves and attacks, and that's it. Huh. I did not predict the, the movement of the Minotaur here. Okay. Which means we have a limited amount of time to pull it off. I could whip, then lightning the minotaurs. But then I think we are missing an attack. Yes, we need the lightning on the skeletons. If I use the steel or instead of the bow or the arrow on this minotaur, then we just get another whip, and then that will not be enough to kill. We gotta kill the minotaur first. And we can't do it with the thunder because then this skeleton will attack. So there's really no choice. We have to pull him to the front. Yep, 
Okay, if I steal from him and kill him, then we will have the lightning and then only a whip and an arrow in hand and that's not enough. Man, I I don't see it. Then, because he charges, that this is the only reason that we are losing is because he will charge ahead. From time to time, it jumps over its friends. Oh, does he attack at all? I guess he doesn't attack. No, this doesn't work. Oh no, it will, it will. Yeah, then we gotta kill these two together. Now do these two, because the whip guy didn't attack. Got him. Okay. One steel, or two steels and an arrow here. And now we got to use the area of effect of the enemies here to beat them. We will get an arrow when, or sorry, a fire when we steal from this guy. And that's very tempting to go with immediately. These two will shoot at us if we don't. So I think the answer here is very obvious. We have to start there. That gets this guy to the front and that is problematic. Because I have to deal with him now. This guy will come in. When I blow up the bomb. It's a question of, do we use the arrow or the steel on this guy right now? What else would you need the steel for? I think to get a sword is fine. And then we can use the arrow on him, which is nice. Then he blows up this one. And then after the fact, I can do use the fire and that road to kill the archer. That leaves me with one sword in hand to kill this guy. Yeah. Oh, the sequence of events has screwed us once again. Right. Crap. Well, can't win them all. Okay. One more attempt. What went wrong? When I blow up the bomb, this guy gets into range and this guy gets into range at the same time. We cannot allow that. And I can't destroy this one ever because then the bomb will hit me. So it would be something like picking up this and then fiery, do fire in that row and then shoot him. I think that's the, the answer. Yes, this is just as good. I didn't need the bomb to kill him. That's my bad. We can't mess up in the next puzzle then, because then we lose. And this should be the hardest one. Oh boy. Uh, these guys don't attack as such, you know. If I cleave, the next turn this guy and this guy will attack us. So but we don't know what they will do, which cards they light on fire. But that's incorrect. We know that they will light all of the cards on fire. I was thinking to go like this first. But 
this is a one time only and we got a, a dude coming in here so if we do that then they light all my cards on fire and they'll be dead how can we avoid that by lighting them up that will not kill you and not kill you he will only take one damage so it's not enough Uh, maybe I'm not understanding exactly how they are going to play. If they light all my cards on fire, we just die. If we cleave... Oh, he will not get to the front row. Oh, he will, because this thing will blow up, and then this thing will blow up. And then it won't kill the archer. Huh. It could be lightning on them. And then cleave. No. The steel is interesting because it could be a sword that may be the tiebreaker if we need a sword. This It depends on what they're doing. I, I can't really... I'm not sure what exactly how they will play. Maybe we have to kill them. Maybe we can get away with not killing them. I'm not sure. This way, then there will be three of them alive. That is incorrect. There will be two of them alive, leaving one card that is not burned. And then we have to play that card in the next round. But if I did that, then this guy would be pulled to the front with uh, an, an extra armor. So he would still need two hits in order to die. And we wouldn't be able to give him that in that same round. So I think there's no other sequence of events except this one. That will lead to victory. But. Yeah. They light all this stuff on fire. So now there's nothing to play. So that was not the right way of doing it. Maybe the sword would have been the right one. Something. And I died. Yeah. Okay. I wonder what that means for the campaign as a whole. Okay, we just don't we don't get the treasure for beating the puzzle. All right, that's my bad, uh, and it is the end of the episode as well. So I hope you all enjoyed it, even though we fucked up the puzzle. It's nice to see that it's uh, int uh, hard to do a puzzle, and then we might want to come back to that one later and try it again. So see you guys as always two on the morrow, and uh, that's it for now. Goodbye.